This is Professor Clements, again working uh, example problems in special relativity. This relates to chapter 28 of the OpenStax College Physics textbook. In this example, velocity addition, a, a case of velocity addition. In uh, normal classical physics, you know, 5 miles an hour plus 10 miles an hour, we get 15 miles an hour. Um, the calculation is not quite so simple. It's not bad, but it's not quite so simple in special relativity. Moving at high speed, there's a different way to add velocities. So we'll be uh, doing that here. This spacecraft, we have one moving away from the Earth at 0.6 times the speed of light. And um, we'll take that to be a positive. I'll set up a coordinate system in a minute. The spacecraft fires a missile back towards the Earth. So that'll be a negative number, and that's 0.9c with respect to the spacecraft. You know, it's a small object. It can be, uh, uh, its speed can be built up to a high number as it leaves the, uh, the spacecraft. Uh, what speed does a person on the Earth measure for this missile? So let's draw a little Earth, uh, not to scale spacecraft. Moving off to the right at plus 0.6c, the spacecraft fires from the aft uh, missile launchers a uh, little missile. And this missile is traveling off to the left, away from the spacecraft, so 0.9c with respect to the spacecraft. The Earth is one frame of reference. The spacecraft is a second frame of reference. This minus 0.9c is inside this frame of reference that the spacecraft has. So doing our calculation, we get our final result here, our, our velocity, our relativistic addition velocity, by combining the, uh, the two velocities here. In classical physics, we would do this as you know, 0.6c minus 0.9c, and we'd be done. We'd have minus 0.3c for the, uh, the measurement. But that's not the way special relativity adds velocity. Special relativity has a correction factor in the denominator. It's always 1 plus, and then you multiply the two velocities together. And it is important that uh, you keep the minus sign with the, the velocity that's negative, and then we divide by c squared. So it's convenient to have the velocities here in terms of c, not in meters per second, because the uh, I'll have c squared when I multiply these two factors together. We'll divide by that c squared. So let's go ahead and proceed here. The top is minus 0.3c, and down below the c squareds cancel, and I have a minus 0.54 for the uh, multiplication of those two velocities. So what we net after we divide by the c squared. So just continuing this, our u would be minus 0.3c divided by 0 0.46. So I'm going to take the minus 0.3 and divide by 0.46. And I come up with minus 0.652c. Now we're in the frame of reference of the Earth. We're approaching the Earth. Because it's negative, it's off to the left in our coordinate system. But this is the uh, speed someone on Earth would measure for this object. So velocity addition in special relativity, you take excuse me, the velocity of this moving frame, you add in what the velocity of the object is. If we would have had uh, an object traveling off to the right, if we had a forward missile launcher here of, let's say, 0.8c, um, then this would be 0.6 plus 0.8c on the top. And you notice 0.6 and 0.8, that would be 1.4 times the speed of light. Things can't travel faster than the speed of light. Well, this denominator would correct for that. In this case, we came up with a number less than 1, the 0.46. But if this was plus 0.8 here, then we would have 0.6 and 0.8. We'd have 1.48. And dividing that into 1.4, I've almost done a new problem for you. But this uh, 
uh, relativistic addition formula prevents us from adding two numbers and getting a value greater than c, greater than 1 times c. And you should try some other examples. Pick any numbers you want, as long as they're legal numbers. They have to be, if you use light, a uh, flashlight on this rocket, um, 0.6 c plus c. And uh, it's an interesting result. You should do that on your own. Ask your instructor if you have questions.